a proud moment for the young women of Germany and Korea DPR. This could be a crucial match to decide how Group C shakes down, especially with the USA having had already a thumping 3-0 win against Cameroon and the uh, Cameroon team not particularly happy about some of the refereeing decisions. Korea DPR, so the reigning champions, Pack, will marshal the defense. She wears a number 20 jersey at the bottom of your caption. While it's two up front for them, Ryu Song Kim and Kun Ok Kim, Yun Ok Kim rather, will be their front two. So again, a crowded midfield. Our match official comes from Russia. Germany then one of the pre-tournament favourites. Their formation very much uh, dictated by the players they have available to them. Their federation has ploughed money into women's football. They play with a back three, Blumel, Stegemann and Bernhardt with wingbacks Donhauser and Pollock invited to push forward. Fuso and Martinez lead the attack. Fuso captains the team. And here's the captain of the Korean side. Ri Su Yong. It's like Germany will kick the game off at least. We know that much. So both teams go into their huddle. List of the substitutes. Confirmation three allowed. Sung Wong Song, the coach of the Korea DPR team. Opposite number. Ulrika Balweg from Germany. That's unusual. So the uh, two teams just about ready and set. 4-4-2 for the Korean side. And we're underway. Germany get this Group C match underway against the reigning champions, Korea DPR. Kim Yun ok Anywhere will do as far as Bernhard is concerned early on. Just settle a few early nerves. It's vital. Thrown down the line here by Pak Ki Kyung. Kusta. Pak Ki Kyung chipping it forward. Looking for Kim Ryu Song. Pudala. Germany's ball to win if they can. This one hooked forward more in hope than accuracy. Korea press again, looking for the opening goal of the match. It's a good touch by Ri Sin Ok. Ok. 
these early moments. Very important for both teams not to concede an early goal. 11 is for Dalla. Oh, there might have been a foul there. The referee waves play on. Kim Kyung Yong was uh, up there trying to make a presence foul to the first shot in any meaningful way for Korea DPR. Germany press again. Kirsta, plenty of space to her left. Fudala again. She won a corner, that's all right. It's always easiest when you've made the journey before, so. Korea DPR know what they're doing in theory anyway Jimmy making sure it's nice and tight at the back and going forward as well Don Hauser missed that one but uh, might have to redeem herself by making the challenge and does so just joined us this is the FIFA under 17 women's World Cup from uh, Colonia in Uruguay Germany on the front foot here against Korea DPR who win the ball back to Pak Hai Kyung the ship of the goalkeepers ball Willebrandt clears it as far as burnt hell burnt heart get the impression that uh, Korea DPR are very well schooled technically they are probably the equal of Germany but tactically look maybe that little bit sharper hard to say Leon Pak Hyung Kim Kyung Yong Martinez can she keep the ball alive it's just a little bit too strong for her throw into Korea DPR A lovely spring evening here in Colonia it's a meaty collision hooked back with interest by Blumel nice turn by Kim Kyung Yong and all options over on that left wing Early pressure coming from Germany, surprisingly, as Korea just trying to find their feet a little bit. Been a rather shapeless opening seven minutes or so. Germany qualified from the European section at this level by becoming runners up to Spain. They lost the final 2 0. 
Germany making their sixth appearance at the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup. Finland and Spain, the other countries who qualify. This is Kim Kyong-gong. Ball still loose. That's a lovely turn by Kim Ryu-song and well held by the goalkeeper, Willebrandt. Neat and concise, that's how you probably describe the Korean side in this little bit of action just showed that nothing uh, too difficult for Villa Brandt to deal with but yeah. she had to deal with it nonetheless <laughs> Martinez gives chase cut out by the Korean defense Cooley came back to make the challenge. Germany win it back. Martinez invited to chase that one. Throw into Korea and Germany not happy with that decision. I think the uh, Korean player got the final touch. Park Yi Kyung to take the throw. Well, Ki Hyung again. Ball had gone out. Throw in again to Korea. Four is Bernhardt. That's a bit of a risky ball. That's why um, Villebrandt had to thunder away into the challenge under normal circumstances you say that Korea DPR and Germany would be favorites to get out of their group but the USA have come to this tournament in very strong fashion uh, indeed and Really bearing in mind the result we've had so far, it's per many one of three. It's a clever ball in. Kim Jung Ok able to keep the ball alive. There's obviously a difference in physicality between the two teams. Germany that little bit bigger. This one fine in at pace to Pollock, who did well. And here come Germany again. Kirster. Clever ball by Kirster. Cooley. Cooley's cross cleared by Rees in Ock. That was a clever idea to turn at the touchline, but uh, no way through for Yun Ti Hua. Germany have the free kick again. They've uh, quitted themselves well early on without really having a decent attempt on goal, but that surely will come. Quite clearly there was holding going on there. So free kick to Germany. They've pushed a lot of their tall players forward to the edge of the penalty area, including Blumel number 18. It's pretty crowded in there. Martinez, number nine, waits. It's a very deep one and held on the line by the goalkeeper, Son Gum. Reese in up. Kim Yunok. That's great vision by Risu Yong to pick out Yun Ji Hua on the far side. Unfortunately for her, she was in an offside position. What a clever idea. There really are elements of the Korean game which are very, very 
well thought out and you just get the impression the players are more than capable capable rather of delivering what the coach wants and that obviously is often is half the battle in football Fuso unable to make progress. She wears the captain's armband throw into Germany. Often you see players wearing some sort of glasses, but that's certainly the case as far as Pollock is concerned. Martinez. Martinez shoots from a very tight angle. There was nobody there for the cut back. So that's why she chose to do what she did. Donhauser. It's a powerful challenge by Kuster. And Kuster's been fouled. Free kick to Germany. Here's the instant again. Interesting that uh, Korea have had a couple of these free kicks to defend now. We're very, very vigilant about making sure that the German players are fully marked. Martinez trying to find half a yard, that's not easy. Stegemann's in there as well. This one knocked in short cleverly as well. Goalkeeper hasn't got there. And it's on the goal line and turned over the line by Germany, who have an early lead. That was a goalkeeping error. It was a clever move by Germany to bring in their flying winner, winger. And it's Fuso, the captain, who leads by example. This was the clever play they brought for the training ground. Goalkeeper spilled it. And Fuso. Balls span tantalizingly close. The official uh, goal score is. Blumel at the moment, number 18, but I'm not sure that's right. We'll have to get confirmation of that. But 1-0 Germany lead. I think there was a touch on the goal line, perhaps, by Martinez. Matters little. Germany in front. The reigning champions behind 1-0. Rikum Kiang. It's important now for Germany to settle down after that excitement of going 1 0 up. This is Pollock. Pollock has to check. And Pollock sent crash landing again. She's been credited with a goal. It was her shot that the goalkeeper got a hand to, and then it spun up in the air and landed virtually on the goal line. But once again, this third free kick now that uh, Korea DPR have conceded midway inside their own half of the field, and they're not dealing with these particularly well. They conceded from their last one. Fuso.
That's a great ball to pick out uh, Fuso. Martinez. Corley. That's cleverly done. Whacked against uh, Don Hauser. There's the goal scorer using her height and weight to good effect. Really clever idea, and uh, Korea just fallen asleep. That's where Blumel got her touch, but I think there was another touch on the line by Martinez to turn it over, but it matters very little. Germany in front. Whistle has gone. Flag was up on the far side. There must have been an infringement, but to be honest, I'm not quite sure what it was. The most important thing really is it's going to be a free kick to Korea DPR. You have to dust off the disappointment of going a goal behind early on to Germany and concentrate on not giving away free kicks close to their penalty area and they've done that three times so far in the opening 20 minutes or 18 minutes 30 seconds Blumel ball headed down though by Paki Hyung Pollock thought about going back to a goalkeeper, but changed her mind. I think the last player I saw wearing similar sort of eyewear was Edgar Davids, the Dutch midfield player. For Dala. Kirsten with a neat turn. Just a little sense of purpose about Germany now as they up the tempo they've got that early goal they now are trying to impose themselves on this match and dominate midfield Park Yi Kyung Confirmation early today, the USA beats Cameroon by three goals to nil. Spain currently playing against South Korea. Another one of the countries qualifying from the European section. This is the fourth meeting that Germany have had with uh, Korea DPR. At this level they've never won a single game the best result a 1-1 draw back in 2008 so really to be a goal up at this stage is pretty impressive a long way to go of course did he reach the midway point of the first half germany in front germany good value for their one goal advantage blumel Kim Ryu Song. Plenty of options in midfield here for Korea. Kim Yun Ok. Well, that's a good break by Germany. Very good tackle indeed. Nothing wrong with that. 
Well, if you live by the sword, you have to die by the sword. And it was a strong tackle by Fadala, which won possession back from Germany, but she got an equally effective tackle back by a Korean player. Throw into Korea then, who trail 1 0. And have the ball in a very promising position. That was a decent effort. Was there any touch by the goalkeeper? The referee looks at her assistant and suggests there wasn't. But that was uh, one of the best opportunities we've had so far. Driven in by Ri Su Kyung. Korea get the nod this time from the Russian referee. We'll put a lot, a lot of players forward. Four posted on the edge of the box. A fifth arriving now. Ri Kum Hyang. The central defender is prominently forward. This one played in short, not a great free kick. Germany struggle to get it clear, but they do. So Korea press again, and it's Yun Ji Hua. Goal kick. A little through ball there by Risu Young. Great layoff, but the angle was very, very tight indeed. And in the end, there was no way Yun Ji Hua was going to alter the scoreline, which reads 1 0 to Germany. Cooley loses possession. There's quite a healthy crowd on the far side. It's a lovely evening. Sit back in the warmth, enjoy the football. Risu Kyung. Paki Kyung. Pollock to take the throw for Germany. Pollock again, switching the emphasis of the attack this time. Blumel. Don Hauser gives chase on the far side. Martinez up in support.
The pushing went the way of uh, Germany this time, and I thought it was Korea's free kick. Kim Ryu Song has been penalised. Germany have a free kick, which we uh, look at the clock. 27 minutes gone. What has been a game that Germany have enjoyed so far. Stegemann. Pollock. Good control of the ball. Cawley. Kim Jung Ok, it's more like it. Incisive ball wide by Yun Ji Hua. Career offside. No great urgency by Korea at the moment to try and find a way back into this one. They're just patiently doing what they did before they conceded that goal. For me, uh, the German seems to have settled down a fair bit since they went into the lead. A high hanging ball up towards Fuso. Still, Fuso drags it back. Oh, there's no way that uh, Fodala could turn it in. What a chance that was. Really good opportunity for Germany to double their advantage. She was looking for a little bit of help. Goalkeeper again threw herself into the action when it was really unnecessary. And at the moment, Son Gum has been a bit of a liability for the career DPR team. Her mistake led to the goal. that one out for the corner cries of Deutschland Deutschland ring round the stadium so corner kick to Germany, who lead by a goal to nil, played in short here towards Donhauser. Just unable to find half yard to help the ball on. Get the impression a lot of these um, free kicks have been practiced on the training ground time and time again. No space on the far side for Cooley, but she has won a corner kick for Germany. And quite a few of these set plays tend to bring pressure on the career DPR goal. Let's see what Germany can do here. Once again, Blumel is up and being closely watched, trying to lose her marker. It's over Blumel's head and it then lands on the top of the goal.
Kuster. Bernhardt. Taking no chances at all, all the way back to Villebrandt. Fudala. Fuso. Decent through ball, but cut out. Kim Kyung Yong. That really is an ambitious effort. Kirsten under a bit of pressure, back to her goalkeeper. Thump forward to the halfway line. And waiting there is Martinez. Offside. Ri <laughs> Kumhyang. Martinez managed to do well to turn a marker and get it through. Great chance here for Germany to make it 2-0. And that's exactly what they've done. Martinez helping it through to Corley and Corley drove the ball under the goalkeeper. 2-0 and Germany in control of this match against the reigning champions. Well, nobody could have predicted this sort of outcome. Good touch by Corley to take it clear of the marker, but kept a really cool head under difficult circumstances. And great play by Martinez with the assist, laying the ball off at the right weight, into the right direction, and Corley able to take full advantage. And Germany have raced into a two-goal lead. Gully from the Bayern Munich club will be very proud of her there, I'm sure. Ri Su Kyung. Two goals in 21 minutes have turned this football match on its head. Although we say that. Uh, Korea DPR are the reigning champions. This is a completely different team than two years ago in Jordan, with players coming through up to this age group. And I'm just wondering if they are as strong as they suggest, given their pedigree. Fuso gamely chasing on, but uh, nothing doing. Nine minutes to half time. Five is Ri Kun Hyang. Twenty Paki Kyung. Kim Kyung Kyung. A rare opportunity for Korea to put some pressure on the Germany goal. There hasn't been many of the, these uh, chances. Oh, no. 
Might be picked up by Ri Kum Hyang on the far side. She'll have another opportunity to cross the ball. And that's going to be a goal kick. Here's the instant again, clearly onside, time to run perfectly. A first touch was good too. Take it clear of the defender. Was the goalkeeper slightly late perhaps, coming off a line? Maybe her positioning could be questioned. That would be uh, really um, harsh to criticise Ri Son Ok or uh, Son Gum rather in the Korean goal. Pollock. Pollock to take the throw. Neat flick on there by Fuso. Pollock. Stegerman looks so comfortable on the ball. This is more like it by Korea DPR. Paki Kyung. Ri Su Yong. Ri Su Yong for Korea again. It's going to be Ri Su Jong rather than Yong. Pong Song Ai. bit of concerted pressure now on the German goal that's been pretty rare Fuso Pollock happy to get it to the halfway line can't pick out a colleague it's going to come back again with interest from uh, Korea DPR Kim Yun Ok much much better by the reigning champions Pak Hee Kyung Yun Ji Hua. He collapses in a heap. Free kick now to Korea. Could do with the goal before the half time break. Here comes the delivery, and it's to the far post, and it was a really clever header by Kim Jung. Jung, it's, uh, it was a piece of poor defending by Germany. They didn't pick up the number 17 here. And really, that was a mistake by Blumel. Touched by Risu Kyung. Risu Kyung again. Trying to pick out Pong Song Ai and is unsuccessful. Just thought that Korea have moved the ball around a bit better in the last five minutes. Been a lot more concise, a lot more able to pass and move and run.
That's good play again. They're just beginning to get into their rhythm. And Germany need to be vigilant here. Oh, the goalkeeper collided with the onrushing forward. She's been given the benefit of the doubt. That was a really strong challenge by Villebranst. Villebranst going in and uh, clouted midair. And that's going to cause a stoppage in play. Must have been painful too for Kim Kyung Yong. Time for a water break. Though half time is pretty close now. This is the first real stoppage we've had. Villebrandt seems to be okay. Able to carry on, just a bit uh, shaken perhaps. One minute of stoppage time to be added on at the end of the opening 45. What has been a good first half for Germany. Have well, they got time to take this free kick? They're going to have to... Uh, Get their skates on. No great hurry for Germany to get on with the game at the moment. That's a bit of a surprise. Don Hauser. Fudara. Very deep cross indeed. Shot was rather weak one by Stegemann, and that's it as far as the first half is concerned. Germany very much in the ascendancy. They just went off the boil perhaps slightly in the uh, last five minutes of the half, but really those goals by Blumel and then by Cawley to make it 2-0 make it a very difficult position for Korea DPR. At half-time, it's Korea DPR nil, Germany 2.